Chris Walsh, Bama Central here with just a minute. And it wasn't that long ago, the National Signing Day, we would see something like Mac Wilson hold up his little sister, who was a baby at the time, in 2016. Or Andre Smith pulling out the houndstooth hat. Uh, that, you know, obviously during the previous coach, but... None of those kind of things really happened. It's it's let, let's call it National Signing Day. This year was kind of a dud, and you know the press conference Wednesday kind of showed us why. And and look, it's not Nick Saban's fault, obviously, but they signed one player. I mean, you can only talk about a tight end so much. So most of the questions during the press conference had to deal with. Name, image, and likeness, uh, college football issues, coaching rumors, uh, coaching moves, just about everything but the players. And this is kind of the way that college football is going, and it's it's obviously a problem. Uh, but take a look at the recruiting rankings and, and take a closer look this year. You know, even the SI-99, look, there's Nick Saban in Alabama. There's three of his former coaches all in the top five, Jimbo Fisher, Texas A&M, Steve Sarkeesian at Texas, and, um, and and obviously Kirby Smart at Georgia. That's dominates the top five. But then look at all the other programs. Uh, Ohio State signed 21 players. Michigan, 22 players. Clemson, 20. Notre Dame, 21. Oklahoma, 21. A lot of the big-name programs are leaving about five scholarships open, and it's pretty obvious why, because of the transfer portal. They want to be able to have roster spots to get players later on. Now, this, it, it's lousy for two reasons. Number one, fewer opportunities for players, obviously. You know, you take five scholarships on average over 50 top programs. You're talking about 250 top players who suddenly have fewer options and they end up at smaller schools. And it stinks for those smaller schools. This is number two because then they take the time, effort, spend the money to develop these guys for a year or two, and then they just transfer it just it, it leaves a bad taste in the mouth, which is exactly the opposite of the way National Signing Day should be. College football is at its best when it's providing more opportunities, not not fewer, not this.